Hello everyone. In this opportunity, we're going to talk about the effective forces in a mechanical seal. For a start, here we have a simple mechanical seal arrangement with the essential elements. I'm talking about seal chamber, drive collar and set screws, spring and drive pin, rotating face and o-ring, stationary face and o-ring, the gland and the rotary shaft. The rotating seal face in ring color is pressed against the stationary main ring in yellow by the mechanical force of the spring element and by the hydraulic force generated by the pressure differential to be sealed. Together, these forces are known as the closing force. As the shaft rotates, the fluid under pressure penetrates the sealing gap between the sliding surfaces, reducing the sealing pressure to ambient conditions at the inner diameter of the sealing phases. It is important to highlight that microscopic pads and asperities in the seal phases act as lubricant reservoirs and allow fluid to pass from one pit to the next as it crosses the phase. At the same time, the pressure in the lubricating film builds up a gap opening force that counteracts the closing force. In the next figure, we can see three simplified and idealized pressure profiles in the ceiling gap. When the shaft is static, the pressure in the seal gap is nearly zero and thus the seal face load is directly supported by the stationary manner ring contact between the seal face materials. The pressure differential decreases in a linear manner as the shaft rotates. Normal wear of the phases is also taking place. In this operating state, the phases are allowed to come in contact with how fluid enters the gap at a control rate. Hydrodynamic effects during rotation might cause the pressure to rise in the gap. The hydrodynamic forces are the consequence of the surface imperfections and strongly depend on the sliding speed and viscosity of the sealed fluid. When the opening forces equal the closing forces, the sealing surfaces run on a film of liquid normally without contact, and thus sealed face work would be negligible. Once the pressure differential reaches approximately 2070 kPa, 300 psi, the hydraulic closing force is so strong that an adequate lubricating film cannot be formed between the sliding surfaces as the shaft rotates. The result is a high contact force with accelerated wear of the phases. This problem is solved by allowing the sealed pressure to act on a smaller area relative to the sliding surface area, or in sealing terminology, balancing the phases. The proportion of the hydraulically loaded surface area to the sliding surface area it's an important design feature of a mechanical seal and it's called the balance ratio. A proper balance ratio is critical to seal performance and stability in a specific application. The seal designer may calculate the balance ratio in different ways. It is sometimes expressed as a percentage. Well, I hope you found this video useful. Please let me know if you like it. Leave any comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.